Exercise 4 Overview of the MEP Fabrication Industry The Design Building Institute of America reports that 40% of all construction in 2012 used the design build process. The rest were completed using the more traditional design bid build process. The percentage of projects using design build is increasing and most industry experts agree that design build will become the more common process within a few years. Design build uses a unified team or single entity to both design and construct the building for a negotiated fee. In design bid build, a building owner retains a team of designers, usually consisting of an architectural firm, a structural engineering firm, an MEP consulting engineering firm, and other specialists and consultants to create a set of bid documents. Multiple general contractors are invited to bid on the defined project with one selected to construct the project. The Autodesk fabrication products accommodate both processes with a flexible workflow. In the design bid build process, the MEP contractor must often work from PDFs obtained from local plan rooms. Fabrication est MEP accommodates tracing of the existing designs for quick takeoff and estimation. In rare situations, bidders are given access to the design intent model. Revit MEP models can be imported into Fabrication Est MEP. Once the bid is won, Fabrication CAD MEP is used to develop and detail the design. Value engineering can occur to reduce construction costs. Fabrication CAD MEP then creates drawings and exports the information to Fabrication CAMDUCT for fabrication. Finally, record documents, also known as as-builts, can be created with Fabrication CAD MEP for delivery to the owner. The process is similar in the design build process, but the design engineer will generate design intent models to be developed and priced using Fabrication CAD MEP and Fabrication EST MEP earlier in the design process. This enables value engineering to take place earlier in the design process. The mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems within a typical building project are among the most complex components and often are a significant percentage of the total construction cost. The term mechanical, used in the building industry, refers to the heating, ventilating, and air conditioning systems as well as piping systems. This is commonly referred to as the HVAC system. Plumbing refers to the water supply and waste systems. MEP contractors offer design, fabrication, installation, and maintenance services for all or some of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing services. Some contractors specialize in only one or two categories, such as only plumbing or only sheet metal. Some firms are specializing in fabrication services. They design and install little or nothing. Instead, they provide the fabrication services for other MEP contractors. With the advent of Fabrication Intent CAD and computer-driven fabrication equipment, it is possible for a contractor to transmit the duct fabrication data to an automated machine anywhere in the world. The Autodesk Fabrication products support this process with transportable files that can drive almost any sheet metal fabrication equipment. Most piping is not cut or bent using software-driven equipment due to the relatively high cost of these machines. This is expected to change as the cost of automated pipe forming equipment continues to decrease. The Autodesk fabrication products can accommodate electrical systems detailing and fabrication, but this has not been a focus for the products. Most electrical contractors do not yet fabricate modules for assembly on the job site, and smaller electrical conduits, such as 3 quarter inch diameter and smaller, are easily fitted on the job site. This situation is changing as some projects, such as healthcare, are increasingly using modular construction techniques. Autodesk has minimal content supporting the use of the software for electrical fabrication, but TSI's Building Data Managed Content does include electrical content. Fabrication, or prefabrication as it is also known, enables the contractor to assemble many individual parts and items into a larger assembly or module. These assemblies are called spools and can be as large as practical to ship to the construction site and fit into the building. 
Installing larger assemblies on the construction site reduces job site labor expenses. Fabricating within the controlled environment of a shop also improves quality control, eliminates adverse weather conditions, and reduces job site risks to employees. These gains have proven financial benefits. Many commercial MEP contractors employ union labor. These firms are known as closed or union shops. The trade unions provide internal training and certification programs to their members. Most of the tradesmen involved with the fabrication and installation of ductwork, electrical, piping, and plumbing are union members. Most firms will also have senior tradesmen using fabrication CAD MEP in the detailing department. Having savvy tradesmen involved in the detailing process minimizes problems in the shop and on the construction site. Although the tension between management and labor is well known, there is an unusually cooperative attitude between the MEP contractors, both management and labor, throughout North America. Many MEP contractors form peer groups to leverage each other's skills and to share best practices. The two major trade unions within the MEP industry that use the Autodesk fabrication products are the Sheet Metal Workers International Association and the United Association of Journeymen and Apprentices of the Plumbing and Pipe Fitting Industry. There are significant commercial MEP firms in most markets that are not unionized. These are sometimes called open merit or merit shops. Some invest heavily in their employees with training and certification programs like unions, but they typically do not associate or share with union shops. In addition to local and state building codes, the fabrication of sheet metal ductwork, piping, and plumbing must conform to established standards. The Sheet Metal and Air Conditioning Contractors National Association, most commonly called SMACNA, is an international association of unionized contractors. It has developed standards for sheet metal fabrication that can be incorporated into the fabrication software configurations. PHCC the Plumbing, Heating, Cooling Contractors Association serves the Merit MEP contractors. According to their website, PHCC is dedicated to the advancement and education of the plumbing and HVAC industry. ASHRAE, the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers, is another independent association that establishes standards for the MEP industry. ASTM, formerly known as the American Society for Testing and Materials, develops a consensus of voluntary standards. ASME, a professional association originally known as the American Society of Mechanical Engineers, is a not-for-profit membership organization that, in its own words, enables collaboration, knowledge sharing, career enrichment, and skills development across all engineering disciplines. Ferguson is the largest wholesale distributor in the U.S. of plumbing supplies, pipe, valves and fittings, and HVAC equipment. Ferguson is mentioned as they play a substantial role in the MEP industry.